So welcome. As I said, just come and lie down on your mat. So we're going to start off in Shavasana, connect to our breathing. We won't stay here too long, so it's just to take a few moments, just to say hello to yourself and come into the present moment. So just like with the legs as wide apart as your mat, and either allow your hands to rest on your belly really lightly, or just have the palms out, up towards the ceiling and away from the body. Just check the back of the neck is really long. Even pick your head up, just flatten it out. Relax your shoulders. And breathe in through your nose. And a big exhale out through the mouth. And just do that a few times. Nice, deep, long inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And each time you exhale, just really allow yourself to let go. Let go of any stress or anxiety from your day, any thoughts whizzing around in your head, just let them go. And then just let your breath find its own natural, easy rhythm. And just focus on the body becoming super relaxed and heavy. Feel like the body's melting into your mat. You can imagine you're lying on a beach and your towel is laid on the sands. And as you just sink deeper into that sand, your body leaves an imprint behind you. So that's the feeling you want to connect to as you lie here. Just allow everything to settle down. Notice any twitches or urges to move or your mind chattering away. Just with each breath, just relax and let it go. Just, just watch, watch what's happening. And then when you next exhale, just allow your head to roll to the right. So you're looking over your right shoulder or you've still got the eyes closed. Allow the left shoulder to stay down on the mat. And then inhale, head rolls back to center. Exhale, head flops to the other side. And just continue with that motion, just freeing up those neck muscles. And just coordinate the movement with the breath. Imagine the breath is like a string attached to the end of your nose. And as you breathe in, the head comes to center. And as you breathe out, the head flops to the side. So make this your last one. And then just take a couple of breaths as the head returns to face looking at the ceiling. And then bring your feet together, your legs together, allow your arms to come towards the side of your body. And then inhale, just take the leg up towards the ceiling, just allow your hands to ride up to the back of the thigh. So it doesn't matter how high the leg comes up, you can keep the knee bent if you want to. Just gently making some circles with the foot. Hopefully you can't hear all my creaking and cracking that's going on in my ankle. Maybe you're making your own sound effects at home. And change direction with the foot. And then just draw that knee in towards you. Squeeze that knee towards your chest. And then inhale, release it out slightly away from you. And then exhale, squeeze that knee out to the side towards your armpit. So inhale, release the knee away. 
Exhale, squeeze the knee to your chest. Keep the shoulders relaxed and down. Inhale, relax the knee away. And exhale, draw the knee out towards your armpit. And just do that once more. So chest, as you breathe out. And then out to the armpit on the right side. And then just place your left foot onto the mat, cross your right ankle over that left thigh. Right knee goes out to the side and we're gonna thread the needle. So just allow your hands to reach through to your thighs. Keep your left foot active, so it's at 90 degrees, toes pointing up to the ceiling, and your right foot's active as well. Imagine that foot's pressing onto a wall. And then as you exhale, just squeeze the thigh towards you, and you should feel a stretch through the outside of the right buttock. And then each inhale, just allow your leg to relax away. Exhale, squeeze the thigh towards you again. And just do that a couple of times. And again, just notice, notice what your body's feeling. And notice how the rest of your body relaxes to, oh, sorry, reacts to any sensation that you're feeling that might feel uncomfortable. So often we can kind of try and distract ourselves, like we'll start looking around or we'll turn our head away. And it's almost like a way of moving away from the discomfort, but just try and sit with any sensations you're feeling. And when I talk about discomfort, I'm not talking about pain. If it's pain, then back off. But discomfort's normal when you're stretching. Okay, and then place that left foot back down onto the mat. Take your arms out to shoulder height and just drop the knees over to the left. So you're still in that shape with your, your leg over the other one. So it's just dropping the foot and the leg down to the left-hand side for a gentle twist. And then inhale, come to center. And then exhale, drop the knees over to the right. So if it doesn't feel good to keep that foot on top of that left leg, you can unload it and just pop it underneath, okay? So just notice what feels good for you. And then inhale, come back to center. Uncross the legs and allow that left leg to come up to the ceiling, release the right leg away. And just start to make some circles with your left foot. Again, remember that left leg can be bent. So just gently start exploring how this hamstring is feeling in the left leg. Change direction with the foot if you haven't already. And just explore how it feels to open up the back of the knee. And then lowering the knee towards the chest. Exhale, squeeze the knee towards you. Inhale, release away. Exhale, squeeze the knee out to the armpit. Inhale, release away. So I always kind of envisage someone playing the bagpipes when you do these type of movements. You know, you're squeezing, as it were, the bagpipe as you draw the knee into the chest or out to the side. And you're allowing the breath to fill up and bellow as you inhale. So exhale to the chest. Inhale, release, and then exhale to the armpit. And release. So allow the right foot to come up and allow the left ankle to cross over that right thigh. And then just thread your needle, holding behind the thigh if you can. Right foot is active, left foot active too. And then start squeezing the right knee in towards you, the right thigh. Inhale, releasing away. And as I said on the last side, just notice here how that's feeling for you. And just notice if you start to bring tension into any other part of the body that really doesn't need to get involved. So you might find your shoulders start scrunching up to your ears. Just try and relax them down. And then place that right foot onto the mat, 
arms come to shoulder height and allow the knees to drop to the right and allow your head to look to the left. Make sure you keep the shoulders relaxed and down. Feel that nice twist through the center of your body. And then inhale up to center, exhale, take the legs to the other side. Remember the option here to unhook that left foot. Sorry, yeah, left foot if you want to. Your choice. Keep the shoulders down, keep reaching out through the fingertips. And feel that stretch again, maybe through the outside of the right hip here as well. And then inhale, come to center. And release. And draw both knees into your chest now. Give yourself a good squeeze and a hug, rocking from side to side. And then take your hands behind your thighs. And if you can, rock forwards and backwards. And then once you get enough momentum, just pop yourself up to seated. Good, and come over onto all fours. So a few people commented to me last week about how nice it was to open up our upper back so much from the work we did last week. So we're gonna explore something that I think helps to open up that space a bit more as well. So I'm just gonna ask you to drop your left shoulder towards the mat and you're feeding that left arm underneath your right arm. So you can see the position in, I'm in, my hand is, my right hand is still by my head and that left arm's come all the way out. So already here, you might be feeling quite a strong stretch through that left shoulder. And then just check in with your hips here because often the hips tend to roll over to the right. Keep drawing them back to center and keep your core engaged. So keep your belly, your navel drawing to your spine. And then if you want to take it a bit further, you can stack the hands on top of each other and just gently turn to look towards your right elbow. Now that can be quite intense. So just see where you are tonight. And there's no problem with staying here. Or you might want to take your right hand to your lower back. So just have a little bit of a play with what feels good for you. And just really focus on opening up that left shoulder. Nice, long, deep breaths. And then to come out, push into that right hand, come back to all fours. I'm gonna to move to the other side. And we're just gonna take a cat cow here now. So just inhale, release the belly towards the floor, head looks up, and then exhale, push into the upper back, open up that space between your shoulders, squeeze your belly towards your spine and then come back to neutral. And then let's thread that right arm underneath and all the way through. So just hold here so you get to feel that, that initial stretch through the outside of the right shoulder and check those hips again. Make sure they're not swinging around. Keep the navel drawn to the spine. And then options, stack the hands again, or you might even place your left hand on your lower back just to bring a little bit more of a twist into the pose. And the eyes just gently turn and gaze to that elbow that's up in the air, if you want to, or you can just look straight along the floor. Keep breathing. And then to come out, release the arm, place the hand firmly down and by your face, push into the hand and coming up. And let's take another cat cow again. So inhale, belly releases, looking up. Exhale, arching into the spine, open up the space between the shoulders. Good, and then releasing back down to your neutral position. Tuck your toes beneath you, bring your bottom back towards your heels. So I just want to put another option in here. If you don't want to come up onto the hands and weight bear, Come back into extended child's pose. If you want to go up, tuck your toes and inhale, lift into down dog. So focus on the upper body first. Keep the knees bent, spread your fingers wide. 
Really find that space in your upper back again between those shoulder blades. And just allow the inner creases of the elbow to come in and under. Really connect into your pinky fingers. Push down through your ring finger as well. Push down through the thumbs. Draw your navel to your spine. And then from there, just gently start to pedal one foot at a time towards your mat. But keeping the integrity of the upper body in that nice straight line, if you can. So looking for ears to be in line with your arms. Good, and then looking to your hands, slowly walk your feet forwards and come into your first forward fold. So again, keep the knees really bent here. Allow the rib cage to connect onto the thighs. Lace your arms around each other so you're holding the opposite elbow. Drop the head and just allow your upper body to be as floppy as you can make it. So your legs are grounding you here. They're your foundation. And your upper body is just draped over those legs as much as you can. So it doesn't matter if you're really bent low, just have a sense of letting go as much as you can. And the more you straighten the legs, the more you get that feeling like a waterfall of the upper body just flowing over the legs. And the key here is really to make those feet active. Really rely on the foundation and your balance and the strength of your legs to ground you. Allow your arms to flop to the floor and then slowly start to curl all the way up. Uncurling each vertebra at a time, allowing the tailbone to come under until you slowly come up and roll the shoulders back and down. And while you're here, just notice if you can connect again to that feeling in the legs that really roots you down in your foundation. Because so much of our time in our lives, we, we, we're kind of leaning forwards, leaning into stuff, you know, not just metaphorically, but physically we do. Or we find ourselves leaning back away from things. Really lovely if you feel that sensation of grounded and centeredness. Hopefully you get a bit of what I mean by that. Just absorb it for a moment. Feel your feet. Feel the strength in your legs and your foundation. And then from there, inhale, take your arms wide, reach up, look up. And then exhale, forward fold. Take your hands towards the mat again. Knees can be bent or straight, whatever feels good for you. And inhale, flat back position. Come up onto the fingertips or hold onto the thighs or the shins. And then exhale, allow yourself to flop forwards again. Inhale, reach forwards and up this time. Reach up towards the ceiling. And exhale, take the arms back down by your sides. So let's just do that a couple more times. Inhale, reach forwards with the arms this time. Look up, palms may touch if you want to. And then exhale, flowing forwards, bending from the hips. Take your hands towards the mat, head towards your knees. Inhale, lengthen through the back. And exhale, flop towards the floor. Inhale, reach forwards and up, reach up, look up. And exhale, arms by your sides. This time we're gonna inhale, reach up, and then we're gonna lean back slightly and open up the arms. So imagine you're making goalposts with your arms, palms facing forwards. You're lifting the chest up to the ceiling. And then inhale, reach up again. And then exhale, flow forwards. Just melt over your legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, face looking at the mat. Exhale, head flops forward again. Inhale, reach up and come all the way back into that back bend, opening the arms again. 
and then exhale, take your hands to prayer position. Okay, from here, we're going to bend our knees. So we're going to transition into a chair pose, but I want you to imagine, if you can imagine a ski jumper, you're taking your arms up behind you, take them up as high as you can, bend forward over those knees as much as you can, and then keeping the knees bent, inhale, bring the arms forward and up, and reach up into your chair pose. So you're really rooted down in those feet again, bending the knees, lifting those palms and those fingers up towards the ceiling through that nice stretch through your calf muscles. And then exhale, flop forwards again, straighten the legs. Inhale, flat back position, looking forwards. And exhale, flop forwards once more. Inhale, reach forwards and up, look up. And exhale, hands to prayer position. Take a breath in. And then exhale, bend the knees. Take the arms behind you again. Take them up as high as you can behind your back. And then inhale, bending the knees. Swoop the arms forward and up into your chair pose. Look to your hands if you can, or looking straight ahead. And then exhale, forward fold. Take your hands towards the mat. And inhale, flat back position. So from here, we're gonna step our right foot back into a high lunge position. Now I want you to stay up on those toes in the back leg. And if you can, I want you to come all the way up into a warrior one position. It's okay if you wanna put your hand onto your thigh because it's quite strong in the legs. If you can hold here, do, or you can put your hands on your waist, or like I said, onto that front thigh. Keep pushing out through that back leg, like you're trying to reach the heel of the foot down towards the floor, and keep reaching up. And then exhale, take the hand to the mat, and step your left foot back to reach the, meet the right, and you're in a push-up position. So if you wanna do a full push-up, go for it here, or you can take the knees to the floor, elbows in, lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, come onto the toes, back into down, facing dog. Remember, you can take extended child's pose if you want to. So just take a few breaths here, just to ground again into your down dog. Connect your hands. Open that space between your shoulders. Feel the inner creases of your elbows coming under and up and draw the weight down into the heels of your feet. And then look to your hands. You can hop, step, or walk your feet forwards. Lengthen your spine again. And then exhale, head to knees. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Look up. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, reaching up. Look up. And exhale, forward fold. Take your hands to the mat, draw your head to your knees. Inhale, lengthen your spine forwards. And this time we're gonna step our left foot back. Sorry, our right foot back, is that right? Left foot back. I've got myself in a pickle. Inhale, reach up. So again, take your options. Do whatever leg you didn't do last time, because I'm confused now whether I did this leg before or not. Option to reach up, extend back through the heel of the back foot, and just keep breathing. Keep the hands on the hips if you want to, do what feels good for you. And then exhale, bring the hands forward, step the right foot back to meet the left or whatever leg you have back. Option, full push up or take the knees down, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale. Lift and open the chest, baby cobra. And exhale, back to extended child's pose or down facing dog. Take some nice, long, deep breaths. Let the head be heavy. Keep space between your shoulders and find your breath. 
See, this is where I miss being in a room with you because you'd have told me which leg we were on and I can't hear you. And then look to your hands, walk, step or hop your feet forwards, lengthen your spine, exhale, draw your head to your knees. Inhale, reach forwards and up, look up. And exhale, take your hands to prayer position. And again, just take a moment here just to center yourself. Close your eyes, bring your awareness inward and feel the groundedness through your feet. Really connect to your foundation. Okay, from there, we're going to bend our knees again. Take our arms behind us and inhale, come back up into that chair pose. But from here, I want you to step your right foot back. So we're in this lunge position again, but we're slightly leaning forwards. So if you remember last week, we did a balance where we did an aeroplane pose. We might explore that in a moment. So just have a sense that the front leg is the low weight bearing leg and you're just slightly up on the toes of the back foot, and you're really reaching the energy through to your fingertips. So if you want to now take a step forwards and come into your balance, feel free to do so. Or if you want to stay here and just explore how far you can go, just tentatively taking the leg from the floor, then do so. So wherever you are, if you've got the leg in the air, step the right foot back, Come back into that lunge and then exhale, take the hands to the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right and lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Keep the elbows tight, open the chest and then exhale, extended child's pose or down facing dog. Connect to your breath. Open your shoulders. Spread your palms wide. <clears throat> and look to your hands. Step, walk or hop the feet forwards. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, head to your knees. Bend your knees again. And inhale, take your arms back up through the chair pose. Look into your hands, rooting down through those feet. And then exhale, prayer position, back to the start. So again, we're gonna bend the knees, take the arms behind us, and then inhale as you come up, chair pose. Reach up through those fingertips. So this time you're gonna step your left foot back. So you're on the left toes, and we're leaning forward slightly. So this feels really odd for you to me saying, keep your shoulders over your hips. We're still in the chair pose, but we just got that back leg extended. Really reach into that back foot and reach out through the fingertips. Feel the energy zinging from the heel of the foot all the way up to the fingertips of your hands. And then option here to go into your balance. So just take it slow, take it steady. And there's always the option to stay here with the toes on the mat, and you're just more and more weight bearing into that front leg till the weight naturally lifts off and that back leg can fly up behind you. So if you're in the full pose, just take a safe step back into the toes and then exhale, take your hands to the mat. Step back, lower down your push up position, knees to the floor all the way down if you want to. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift the chest, exhale, take it back to down facing dog. Take some nice, long, deep breaths. And then from there, look to your hands. Step your right knee forwards, 
step your left knee forwards and come to a seated position. So we're going to play a little bit more with some forward bends. So just have the legs extended out in front of you. Make sure you've got the sit bones connect, connected down into the mat, toes pointing up to the ceiling. And first of all, just really push away, <coughs> excuse me, through the heels of your feet. And I want you to see if you can ground your legs firmly into the floor so the heels of the feet lift off the floor. So that's quite, it can be quite a challenge. So you've really got to push down and you feel your quad muscles engaging. Leave your hands by your sides if that helps you get a sense more of pushing down to help with that sense of lift. And allow your eyes to gaze, gaze forward towards your big toes. And then from there, inhale, try and keep that tension in your legs as you draw the arms up. And then exhale, reaching forwards. Keep looking at your fingertips. And when you've gone as far as you can, just take those hands down towards the mat. If you've had the heels off the floor, they will most definitely be on the floor now. And just surrender into your spine. Keep a sense of the heart lifting towards the toes. The head is heavy. Just allow your head to shake from side to side or nodding. But keep that sense of connection through the legs. The feet are always active. You've got a slight, slight sense of lift through the thighs, lifting up on the kneecaps. And then inhale, just slide your way back up with the hands. Allow the hands to slide all the way back behind you. Fingertips pointing in towards your bottom. Lift and open the chest, option, option to stay here. If you can, lift the hips and the bottom off the mat. Keep looking at your toes and see if you can get the feet to come down onto the mat. If they touch and you want to take the head back, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just keep looking at the feet. Breathe. Keep lifting the chest, lifting the hips. And then exhale, release, lower your bottom back towards the floor. And coming back up to your seated position. So let's do that once more. Inhale, lift the arms up, reach up as high as you can. See if you can get those heels off the floor and then follow your fingertips as you melt forwards. Heart center leads. And when you've gone as far as you can, just relax and breathe, but keep those legs active. And just notice if that's changed since you were here not that many breaths ago. Feel that space across your upper back. Allow the breath to be long and easy. And then inhale, slide the hands back up the mat and all the way behind you, fingertips pointing in, lift the chest, option to stay here, or lift the hips, plant the feet down towards the mat. Allow the head to drop back if you want to, or keep the head looking towards your toes. Breathing nice and strong. And then exhale, lowering down. Good. And then just bending your knees, take your feet onto the mat slightly. Hold underneath your, behind the thighs, underneath the knees. And you're gonna lean back just enough so that you feel the weight coming off the lower legs. Okay, so we're gonna go into boat pose. So you might wanna stay here, holding the thighs in towards you. Make sure you keep lifted here, lift the chest, keep the navel drawing towards the spine. If you want to let go of the legs, feel free to do so. That will just increase the load a little bit. If you want to straighten the legs, feel free to as well. So just have a play. We're going to come here a few times. 
So maybe take a couple of easier versions first. And then exhale, cross your legs, pop your hands on the floor. And if you can, I want you to lift your bottom off the floor and lift the knees up and then lower down. And let's go back in again. So just leaning back till you feel the top part of your bottom connect to the floor. You get your balance. You can let those legs fly up. So choice, keep the knees bent, support your legs, let go of the legs, just do what feels good for you. Just make sure your core is engaged. Make sure that lower back doesn't start rounding. Keep pulling up towards your legs. Nice long deep breaths. And then exhale, cross the legs, push into the hands. See if you can lift your bottom off the floor, push high onto your hands. Lower down. Even if you can't get your bottom off the floor, just have a sense of pushing the earth away and bringing the shoulders forwards, okay? Last one. So rocking back, lifting into your boat pose. We're gonna stay here for five breaths. Keep those legs really strong and active. Keep pointing the toes. And then crossing your legs, push the hands down, squeezing the bottom off the floor and release. Okay, and just shake those legs out, just maybe rolling the tops of the thighs. And then scooching your way down to the bottom of the mat, hold the back of your thighs and slowly rolling down. Should have said, if you want to put on something warm for relaxation, just pop it around you, pop it on you now, so you don't have to move again. Just got a couple of more things and then we're going to go into our relaxation. <clears throat> so from here, let your legs be long. You're going to cross your, what are we doing? No, we're not. We're going to bring our right knee to our chest. And place your hand on the outside of that right knee and squeeze the knee across the center of your body. Take the right arm out to the side to a nice deep twist. So you can work as deeply here as you want to, or you can stay quite relaxed. If you've had your dinner, I recommend you don't squeeze too much, otherwise you might be having it again but just gently draw that knee over to the left. Feel that lovely twist through the spine and feel that sense of twisting also through your abdominal area. So good for your digestive system. Inhale, coming back to center. Release the right leg away and then draw the left knee up. Right hand onto the outside, drawing the leg across the body. Left arm comes up behind you. And then just gently squeezing that knee down towards the mat, towards the floor. Make sure that left shoulder stays in contact with the floor as well. And you're looking back over your left shoulder towards your left hand. Inhale, coming back to center. And just bring both knees into the chest again. One last squeeze. And then just allow the feet to come up towards the ceiling. See if you can reach to grab the outside edges of the feet and draw the knees down towards your, um, your armpits. Keep thinking about lengthening the tailbone down towards the mat. So we tend to find, we might be up here because that means we can get our, 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 elbow, our um, knees into our armpits easier, but you really want to then draw the tailbone down towards the floor to really make this a good hip opener and to release any tension out of the lower back. And just allow yourself to rock from side to side here. Just massaging the spine.
And then bring the knees back in towards you. Release the legs away. And just one last pose before we go into relaxation. I've done this a few times recently, but we're gonna go into our fish pose. So just move your hands underneath your bottom. Draw your elbows down towards the floor as you lift the chest and come up onto the crown of your head, looking behind you. Nice long deep breaths. Feel the breath into your chest. And keep pushing the elbows firmly down, squeezing the shoulder blades together onto the spine. And feel your heart lifting up towards the ceiling. And then to come out, just gently let the head roll away behind you till the chin tucks in and then roll your hands out from beneath you. Give yourself one last squeeze, bring the knees to the chest again, just gently rock from side to side. And then let your feet find the mat. Let the soles of the feet come together and allow the knees to open out wide into a butterfly pose. And let your arms flop out away from the body so the palms face up to the ceiling. And just take a few breaths here with the eyes closed. Have a real sensation of sinking into the buttocks. So again, just bring to mind as if you're lying on the beach on a towel. And when you leave the beach, you wanna leave an imprint of your body in the sand. So I really want you to feel the weight here in particular at the moment into the buttocks area. Feel the weight rooting down. And then feel that weight of your head and your upper back. Your hands. And as the body becomes heavier, maybe feeling the inner creases of the hips opening a little bit more. As you find your knees wanting to draw closer down towards the sand. And then your choice, you can stay here or you can just let your feet roll away from you to find the corners of your mat again. And then just feel the weight of your legs. And allow your feet to be really floppy. They've just rolled out to the sides really easily and naturally. And just feel all the touch points of your body lying on your mat. With each out breath, just feel yourself releasing just a little bit more. And just notice the sound of your breath. Notice how the breath sounds like you're at the beach and the waves are just gently lapping against the shoreline. Just ebbing and flowing gently. Just notice how you can slow the breath down. And just allow your breath to guide you to a place of stillness as you relax.
And then just allow your breath to start to deepen gradually. You just notice this still place, this quiet place. You just have an intention to take that feeling with you into the rest of your evening. As you slowly start to move your fingers and your toes. And then just gently bringing some movement back to your body, moving in a way that feels good for you. And in your own time, whenever you feel ready, just allow yourself to roll to one side and make your way up to seated. <laughs>